Welcome to more World of Warplanes content from the Noble Q, and in this video we're going to take a second look at the F5F Skyrocket, currently available in the Premium Shop, using a build and a flying approach that are different to the ones shown in my preceding video on this plane. So here we are in the hangar again with the F5F Skyrocket, and as you can see this time I have the bombs on. And a couple of people made comments, one on my YouTube channel and one in my stream, uh, that made me think that it'd be worth demonstrating a different approach to the one I recommended in my previous video, and that is actually exploiting the bombs uh, and pushing the aircraft into something of a multi-role function. And if you look here, you'll see that uh, this person is sitting here, and that's Mary Loveheart. So, let's explain what I've done. You can't increase the damage of the bombs and rockets directly, but Mary Love Hart is a special pilot, normally assigned to the P-47B, but you can use her on any American aircraft, and she has a special skill, and it's this one. Rockets and bombs released in a dive cause double damage to ground targets, so your 6,000 cumulative damage becomes 12,000. That only happens if you're in a steep dive, Specifically, you have to be at maximum near maximum dive speed, which is 497 miles per hour for this aircraft, and the pitch angle exceeds 45 degrees. Well, the dive speed on this aircraft is actually less than the P-47B, so if you can make a Mary Loveheart work in the P-47B, you'll certainly be able to make it work in this aircraft. So that's the first significant change, and that was Marcellus Hungaricus's idea. Actually keeping the bombs on was Martilock 85's idea. And those are the two people I want to thank for inspiring this video. That's not the only changes I've made. Um, in the previous video I um, looked at the equipment and I said I would probably make some changes. I have. The least important is that I've put um, an uprated engine on to increase the speed uh, instead of the gas mounted turbine um, which uh, improves the boost performance albeit at the loss of uh, um, some boost. Uh, I think this is a better choice of equipment. That's not to say that um, the turbine isn't a valid choice as well, though. More importantly, in my view, I've dropped the gas-operated action, which will increase the damage output to 208, I think, uh, DPS from uh, 158. So that's significant and, again, remains a valid choice. But in this case, I've put the reinforced bolt carriers on uh, because uh, it increases the burst length. Now. You can have bad DPS, but if you've got a good burst, you can still do a lot of damage, provided you can land all your shells and bullets during the course of firing. And what I found is that with the reinforced bolt carriers, and these are ultimate, but they're not calibrated as you can see, so there's more to come, I can get around about 12 seconds um, worth of burst. That translates to very close to 1900 damage if you land all your shells. And as I've built this aircraft maneuverability, I do manage normally to stick on target so I can land the majority of those, say 75%. So I think that's a good approach with this aircraft. That's not to say that you won't uh, uh, do well with um, gas operated action as well. One further point where we've got this panel open, I've made sure that I've got the cooldown rates. Uh, bonus characteristics. They're down the, um, below in orange, 10% and 5% cooldown rate of forward firing offensive armament, which means not only can I fire for 12 seconds without overheating, but if I do overheat, my cooldown is 15% quicker. Those changes, I think, suit me very well. And what we're going to see is not a full battle, but a clip of a battle where I demonstrate uh, both the, the potential for the bombs and the um, the use of the reinforced bolt carriers to increase the burst length. So, as I said, um, I'm not going to show you an entire battle, I'm just going to show you a clip to demonstrate the use of the bombs, with the retention of which was suggested by Martelock85, and thank you for that suggestion, and the use of Mary Loveheart to increase their cumulative damage, uh, which was suggested by Marcello Sangaricus. Also, thank you for that suggestion. Um, I'll also demonstrate the burst length that you get with the reinforced bolt carriers, and then leave you to decide whether you want to follow the suggestion in my first video, the suggestion in this video, or perhaps some other uh, uh, design of your own. So, we're on the Cold Peak map. Uh, it's the trial by fire uh, um, variant. 
and as you can see I'm heading towards a military base and it so happens the rest of my team decided that the garrison was far more important to them and pretty much left me to take this on my own. So let's see how that works out. So I'll be looking for the two aircraft that protect the military base first, both heavies, and I'll be looking particularly to see what pattern they're in, which means I probably won't uh, take on the first aircraft until I know where the second aircraft is and what it's doing. And that's important when you're approaching a pair of air defence heavies. So there's the first one. The second one hasn't appeared. I begin to swing towards it and then I spot the second one. And unsurprisingly, it's heading straight for me. So basically that pattern was intended to sucker you into chasing the first aircraft and then the second one was latched onto your tail. I didn't fall for it and now I've been able to turn on them using the superior mobility of the F5F. And if you keep an eye on the indicator at the bottom left, you'll see it takes a good long time before these guns overheat and because I've got the bonus characteristics properly selected on the reinforced bolt carriers, my cooldown is 15% quicker. This I think is a considerable advantage. I swing round on the second air defence heavy and I dispose of him. And now we're more than halfway to taking this base. Now the special object, normally in the past, I wouldn't have considered trying to bomb the special object with this aircraft. However, I put the aircraft into a dive, I'm going to put three bombs into that gap and then put an extra one near the two uh, tents. And lo and behold, I've destroyed the special object with this aircraft. Something I would never have thought possible previously. And it just goes to show that uh, the proper configuration can confer really unexpected benefits. And that's the entirety of the clip that I'm going to show you. There was plenty there uh, for you to think about. We were able to use extremely weak bombs to destroy a special object. And we were able to use the reinforced bolt carrier's extra burst length to take down um, heavies, even though these guns are supposedly very weak for a heavy. Food for thought, I think. So, just a quick recap on what we did here. Um, we retained the bombs on the aircraft. We increased their potential, at least if you bomb in a steep dive, by putting Mary Loveheart, the special American pilot, in the aircraft. We changed to an uprated engine uh, instead of the turbine to improve the speed as opposed to the boost acceleration, boost performance. And we changed critically to reinforced bolt carriers for the guns, which provided me currently uh, with about 12 seconds worth of burst and therefore burst damage of around 1900 which means since I've built this aircraft for mobility and I can stay on target uh, generally I can still knock them down in one pass even though the gun's DPS is nominally very poor. I hope you found that informative and if you did you'll come back and see more of my content in the future but until then this is the Noble Q signing out.